assistant coach. Uh, how did it feel to just be out there and start off the conference year? It felt great. You know, very happy with the guys. I thought it was a very professional performance. So uh, that'd be the, the term I would uh, title it with. I mean, played very well to start to half, and you know, stayed patient because we could have had goals early and didn't. Um, took all the way to the 44th minute to get one, and maybe a little fortunate, but you keep it on goal. You create enough chances, they're going to go in. So, and then the second half, you know, first 10 minutes were a little up and down, but I thought we didn't give up much and just kind of waited our time and things opened up and I was happy for Michael to get his first college goal, so it was good. You mentioned that defensively this team might have needed a little bit of tweaking going forward after last game. Uh, was Rutgers, they came in struggling a little bit. Was it a good matchup almost for them to find their footing? Well, you know, it's it, it's funny. It, it was a scary matchup because Rutgers, I think, led the Big Ten in goals last year. Mm -hmm. It was very high and got some very talented players. I think they're still battling some injuries, so maybe we didn't see the, the best Rutgers team that, we'll, that teams will see this year. But, you know, they've got guys that can hurt you, so for us to keep a clean sheet, I don't care who you play in college soccer, to, to get a shutout is, uh, is important. Was it, again, one of those cases where maybe a few worries start to settle in after eight, ten shots registered and no goals? Yeah, you know, credit to this team, you know, I, I worry, but you just wonder if it's going to be one of those games where, you know, even at 1-0 at half, I'm like, man, we played about as good as we can play, and we're only up one nothing. so, um, but, you know, again, the guys stayed the course, and every time I have a little bit of doubt, these guys have responded and, and proved me wrong, so that's good. Would you say this is the team's best performance so far of the year? Probably our most complete performance. I mean, to not give up goals, you know, we played well at SMU, and, and certainly against a good Columbia team, but I think the Big Ten, it goes up goes up a notch the intensity and to get a clean sheet score some goals create chances very very happy with the performance today. Um, can you talk a little bit about how a performance like this prepares you for a big week next week with two big in-state games? Yeah it's huge and Oakland is a, a very well coached team they've got a big game conference game tomorrow so we'll have a, a difficult road match um, at Oakland and those guys are always fired up to play us um, and uh, certainly a big match on Sunday. But our whole focus will be to re rest and recuperate and get ready for our Wednesday match. Ever for you, I think, was actually scored against Rutgers. Yes, it was, yeah, field. first two. How does it feel to repeat that? You know, it was good. We knew, we knew coming in, in this game that Rutgers was a team that was struggling. I think they were 0-3 mm -hmm. this season. And uh, we also respected that they could do some damage up top. So we just kept pushing. First, I think, 44 minutes, we had 10 shots. Mm -hmm. So we just kept believing that we would score goals, which we have been doing. And luckily, we got a little got a little fortunate on a free kick and got that first goal. What finally changed in the 45th minute? Um, Not much, really. I mean, we were getting the chances. We were getting good looks and just execution. I mean, obviously, the deflection helped out a little bit. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we'll take it and we'll keep running with it. Were you aiming for the top?